The very top of Bleak Blanc, Alpe d'Huez, 3,300 meters, with this incredible view. Once you climb up here, disappearing into the valley way down below me is the Seren Beast, which I'm about to take you down on. We are from the top of Blue Blanc, ready to drop in to the famous Seren Piste, the longest black piste in the world at 16 kilometers, nearly a 2,000 meter vertical descent. As you can see, the first bit is always one of the toughest bits. Everyone's struggling and sidestepping down what's usually an ungroomed bit. And then you hit some icy bits like this, and then it opens out into something a lot nicer. Just to confirm, this is live audio as you're coming down with me. Picking my way through the bumps here and there. Now, it snowed last time here about four or five days ago. The sides at the bottom are saying that this piece isn't groomed the whole way, so it's going to be a little bit bumpy, a bit of rock and roll, but to be honest, everyone hears about Seren piece as being not that difficult. It's not really a black run. They've kind of claimed the longest black run in the world, but really it's a red. Which to half a degree I'd agree with. First thing in the morning, when you get this piece at nine o'clock, you can get it perfectly groomed onto the bumps, and it's really not too difficult at all. But if you come like I am today, when it's not been groomed in a while, or if you make it late on in the day, it's not the same piece at all. You get these giant, whoa, uneven mogul fields. I'm usually quite a fan of skiing some bumps, but when you often hit these pieces like this one, whoo, it's really not a regular bumps field at all. <laughs> and you have to work twice as hard as you would normally, as you can probably tell from my voice and my breathing. Whoo. Slightly mellower field. Nice soft bit of snow on top of this. All about picking that root, absorbing those bumps, getting those poles engaged. Oh, I've got the leg bird already, and I've not even started. <laughs> Probably passed them already, but piece marker 32 just there. They, of course, count down along the way. It's first chance for a break. Whoa, nicely groomed there. Into the shadow for a moment, gain some speed, get a chance to get my breath back. 30. Ooh. Beautiful. Big Blanc behind me now up there. Opens up so much off piste. If you're into that on either side, way over that side towards the Chateau Noir, the Combe de Lowe. Up over to this side. The famous run on that side is the Cote de Rive which is where the Seren will run parallel. We're going to see it shortly to the Cote de Rive. 
saying about everybody, go, it's easy, it's difficult, this piece. This is one of those moments to get your breath back before we drop in once again. The time of the day makes such a difference. Me being at a, a local ESF instructor here, if I'm going to bring my clients and I'm not sure, first thing in the morning, that's the time to do it when it's perfectly groomed like it is now. Yeah, I thought I'd skip you through that little flat bit for a moment. We're now back onto a moment of a blue piece, which links that herpy chairlift just ahead of me. As soon as you open it up, woo! In case you're interested, by the way, I'm not on a classic piece pair of skis coming down here. These are white dart Altum 94s. They're an all mountain sort of ski. Cut the corner there. It's a 94 millimeter waist, so quite a fat, quite a fat piece ski, but quite a small all mountain ski. They work really well as a single quiver, all mountain everything. So flying down here, that'd be the dream. And even if I start hitting some power later on today, they'll still work perfectly well. You can see me now open it up just as we approach the next steep section. Piece marker 26. Is it going to be bumpy? Not at all. Let's keep these big turns going through this bit. Really open it up. Great snow conditions right now. Little bump. Oh yes. Moment rest. Ears pop. Here's the next little bit. Oh, crank it in. And now see to my right, cut the rive. I mentioned just early. This is the off-axis section. Slowing it down as it comes towards these crowds. Crowds. About two people. More of a skidded style short turn rather than a big carved turn I had a moment ago. Oh, still perfect. Snow. Got to get through these two. There it is. it up. Piece marker 17. I'm flying down it now. Woo it's so good. Onto a mellow section. See some really nice lines in the piece from some people ahead. Easy over the roller. And then crank it back up again. Woohoo! Oh. Jerry in the middle. Always the snow changes to come down here to this artificially stuff. A little bit more on the brakes. Gauge the poles a lot more for the short turns. <laughs> and then open it back up as we come towards what I'm going to say is the finish. But actually, we're still miles away from the end. That's just the end of the steepest bits. From here, wow, the temperature drops, everything gets colder. I get my breath back and we follow the Seren River down to my right now through the next uh, two or three kilometers of flat bit over a jump Whey! and cruise the rest of the way and I won't make you sit here and watch it because it is just a nice rolling picturesque and beautiful but not the most interesting to watch so thanks for joining me here on the ride along channel whack that subscribe button if you want to see some more peace around the area here or if there's anything specific you want me to uh, to go and ski or show you about, join me back in the channel very soon. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.